February 15th will mark three weeks since President Trump, along with the U.S. Senate and House, gave the go-ahead for short-term funding that keeps the federal government running. But for over 36,000 people in Durham, depending on a federal program for food, that date is much more than a number. CBS 17's Derek Lewis shows you what the program means to those keeping a close eye on their calendars. Nearly 18,000 families in Durham received food stamps in January. It's a big help for me. LaShonda Thomas's family is one. Oh, I work and I think people have a misconception about people who do receive um, food stamps. I stopped by Durham's Department of Social Services to get answers about SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program that offers food stamps. Just because a person is receiving food and nutrition, Everyone does not know their situation. Rhonda Stevens is an assistant director for social services. She tells me who is eligible for food stamps varies. Sometimes people who are working, like Thomas, still qualify. Their um, employment may be not that they're not working, but they may be underemployed or their hours and the number of people in their household might mean that they're still otherwise eligible for benefits. Thomas has five children. She tells me she gets $235 a month in food stamps. I've learned others qualify for $16 a month. That varies depending on how many people are in your household and what your income source is. The department is working with county commissioners to come up with a plan that will allow recipients to continue getting help if there is a new government shutdown on February 15th. I'm told that plan will be finalized on Monday. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.